Today I'm just going to show this one slide. It is page 307 of Professor Vittori Casalter's great book, uh, Motorcycle Dynamics, translated to English, <laughs> thank God. And what it illustrates very clearly is the sheer number of degrees of freedom that a motorcycle has because of the two axes of the front rear wheel, the front rear suspension travel up and down, and the steering head, which gives you lateral. Additionally, the tires, you can see down there on the lower right, also gives you some uh, radial, lateral, and tangential directional movement, um, which add even more degrees of freedom. When you consider that an aircraft has only six degrees of freedom, you know, you can go backwards, forwards, left, right, up and down, um, roll, pitch, and yaw, really, is all you get. Um, that's quite substantial and very complex uh, amount of motion that happens in a motorcycle. I think what I'm driving at here is when someone tells you they're an expert at this and they understand everything there is to know about motorcycle um, gyrodynamics and how everything works, the kinetics of this, the physics of it all, um, I would take it with a grain of salt, guys, because there's a lot going on here. There's an incredible amount of math in this book. It's a tremendous book, by the way, if you get a chance. Motorcycle Dynamics by Vittoria Salter. Um, it's a great read if you really want to dive deeply into how this stuff works.